and I am live. Hello, I am Mike the Zorch, and I am working to unfluffy myself because I am too fluffy, and I need to unfluffy because I feel too heavy. And so, uh, bike with Mike for those joining for the first time. This is a show where I uh, basically exercise and uh, chat with people online got a exercise bike uh, the one I use is in the description below it's not an affiliate link with Amazon but I purchased it from Amazon a couple of years ago I used it off and on haven't used it in a long time so now I'm finally using it to um, improve my health all right so all the notifications have gone out up the chat window so I can see what you guys are saying if anybody joins the chat online also so I can see the uh, health of the stream from OBS alrighty then let's get ready to let's get ready to pedal Okay, um, uh, it's for the title, Dave ordered up some, I found a recipe for making a keto bread, basically wheat-free, gluten-free bread, and we needed arrowroot powder or tapioca powder for it, and chia seeds to make this, along with almond flour so we've got lots of almond flour but we don't have those other ingredients well Dave ordered some because Walmart didn't have either he ordered two two pound bags so I hope this works because we're gonna have a lot of that stuff lying around I mean we could probably use it for other stuff but I saw I found a recipe where if you double the recipe and you pour it into a a baking pan or making a loaf it'll make a full loaf because this stuff um, unlike wheat it doesn't do it doesn't um, leaven like wheat it doesn't uh, rise as much you know you'll get air bubbles from you know using stuff like cream of tartar and baking soda with it or um, vinegar apple cider vinegar or white or red wine vinegar or or something like that you have to have something acidic with baking soda to make it work because baking powder has cornstarch in it and we can't have cornstarch with this uh, with this diet so in order to make that work um you double up the recipe it makes a full loaf and you can slice it like regular bread and that's one thing we've been looking for something that can be made that is not difficult to make and actually makes a full loaf that we can actually cut and use for sandwiches uh, for you know for grilled cheese sandwiches or for sandwiches for our turkey because at the end of the year we buy a big turkey get like largest turkey we can find and we bake it in a bag it always comes out really tender I mean the meat just literally falls off the bone it always really comes off really tender this year we're not going to be able to do stuffing unless I can find a good coconut flour or almond flour stuffing recipe I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make one um, in fact, if, um, I make a bunch of bread, I'll have to make, I'll have to make several loaves of bread in advance of Thanksgiving, if this works, and then cut them into precise slices, and then keep them in the refrigerator, or freeze them. You can freeze them, or you can keep them in the refrigerator for a while. Uh, they said the the best way to do it is to freeze them. You can freeze them for like 30 days or so. So freeze them in advance. And then have another loaf. And I break it up. And maybe put it through our 
um, hot air fryer. I turn it into turn the the pieces into croutons or harden them, but also mix at the same time before I put them in there. Mix them with different. Um, put some oil in them, maybe some olive oil, and then mix some herbs and stuff in it. Basically, make our own stuffing out of almond flour, breadcrumbs, and then use that to stuff the uh, stuff the turkey. Might work. I mean, we could we could make our own stuffing with that. Tiger is not a big stuffing person. Uh, me and and me and Dave are. We usually eat stuffing. So we'll see how that works out if we can. All right. And also um, another big announcement today at 4 p.m. Central Time. Tiger and I will be doing our first. Zort Central show of 2019 and we'll be doing it every Friday after that so Zort Central show is today 4 p.m. Central Time so that means if you're in um, Eastern Time that'll be about is that 5? I think you're one hour, you're one hour ahead or behind? No, one hour ahead. So it'll be about five, five. Yeah. You can look it up on Google. Uh, but um, yes, it's plus five. We're plus four here. So yes, it would be at five. So at uh, five Eastern, four Central. We will be streaming the Zort Central show. We figured out the audio problem. Uh, we'll be setting up our cameras and mics about uh, about three o'clock for the stream. May not start exactly at four because we'll have some setup to do. Uh, not a whole lot because the green screen for Tiger is in place. We just have to get his camera set up right and the compositing online working. So, enough talk. Time to pedal. All right. Time to get my feet in here. All right. Y'all see me? Y'all all? I've been in Texas too long. Going, I'm going, y'all. <laughs> All right, here we go. <sighs> I know I've been losing weight because I've been feeling a lot better. This diet's been helping a lot. Now, um, the Deviant, he made some comments and stuff. Uh, no what what you don't understand is if you cut out wheat and grains and sugar processed sugar if you just get the simple sugars from fruits and stuff you eat you can eat a high fat diet and not get fat and it won't come back it won't come back unless you go back onto a regular diet regular eating that has all that stuff and you we don't need gluten really in fact gluten is actually hard for us to digest it's not easy to digest it's actually hard to digest so and there's other stuff that's inflammatory to the body causes inflammation when you eat it and a lot of that stuff is cut out so if you don't have the wheat if you don't have the gluten all that your body knows what to do with the fat it knows what to do with it it doesn't you don't collect it 
And this is not just something we're going to get go off of after we get our weight off, too. This is this is a permanent thing. We're not we're not um This is a permanent thing. And a lot of it also is that uh, the medical industry just gives you a lot of disinformation about, you know, diets and what you should be eating and everything. They give you a lot of misinformation. A lot of it. It's a surprising amount. For one thing, you know, the, the thing with this diet is the carbs are low the carb the carbs are low and that's that's the point cutting those stuff out lowers the carbs you lower the carbs you lose weight even if what you're eating has fat in it a lot of fat you lose weight and you keep it off as long as you stick with this diet past couple of days my calves have been really sore starting this I think it's a good idea that I go one more week of just doing this on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays I think uh, my chair came loose from the hook I think <sighs> I still gotta solve the problem with my chair moving this hook is too short it was meant to fix my chair and I found something else to fix it and that's coming loose I don't know, I might, I just might have to make a visit to home. I might have to make a, uh, make a Home Depot visit to deal with this. Because the, uh, the, the, the rings that the arm fits into on the back and you know, on the chair part is made of thick wood and so it's not uh, it's not busted it's made of thick wood and the bolts or the original bolts are still there and they're still holding so if I can find a way to attach the uh, old arm, I'd have to break off that, um, I would have to break off the, uh, what do you call it, the, um, I even forgot what that stuff is. Basically the epoxy, just a hammer will do it. Just shatter the epoxy that I put in there to try and hold stuff together. And um, JB Weld, the JB Weld stuff. If I just use a hammer and shatter that stuff in there, I'll be able to uh, get some other bolts and put it back together. We got a ratchet set. Maybe some bolts. I've got washers. Just basically put this thing back together again. Ah, you gotta drive tonight. Alright, so you're still driving, huh? <sighs> yeah. Um, maybe the cord, it's not paracord, it's some old speaker wire, some really heavy duty speaker wire I'm using to, to hold up the side. I might use that 
to keep my butt keep the seat from sliding around we this weekend we're, we need to go to the store Saturday anyway because we're getting low on a few things we didn't get last time we'll make a trip to Home Depot first and pick up some stuff that I can use to fix this chair again now it's an old chair but I really don't have the money to buy a new one yet because to get one that's a 500 pound weight limit and the reason why I want that is not because I'm that heavy I'm over 400 but I'm not 500 I'm definitely not um, reason why I want that I want a heavy-duty chair is because it'll last I don't want to have to buy another chair in two years you know I'd like a chair that will actually stand up because this one even though it makes a lot of crank not a noise and it's sort of wobbly on the top and the, the side arm came off because I reached down and grabbed this cat that's bugging me right now um, you know the bolts just gave way every time I gotta stop leaning over to the side and grabbing her she's gonna have to learn is when I'm busy I can't stop and pet her all the time she gets more than enough attention this is a very spoiled cat yes yes you are I see you looking at me you were a very spoiled kitty Yeah, the way my legs are feeling right now. Definitely going another definitely going another week of just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday would be a good idea, and then switching to a uh, switching to a everyday sort of thing. because I've got bad knees and my calves are really feeling it because this is this is definitely exercise but I don't have this bike set to a low setting I've got it set to a uh, a higher setting so that's a little more work but not too high and hey uh Open, fine, willy. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> but uh, thanks for joining. And Glenn Miller Jr., he's someone I know from uh, a long time ago. Very old friend. Well, he's in chat. And uh, another guy. Hey joining on Mixer. I'm streaming to all three. Yeah, tonight, uh, Zort Central show tonight. 4 p.m. Central. And Key Babantor. Hey, Thank, welcome to the stream. Oh, my legs are really feeling it. But, oh. Yep, my... The hook I've got down there to keep my seat from moving is coming undone. It's too short. Maybe I should set up another cord down there. 
might do that for Monday unless I can find another solution. If I had room, I would have a regular exercise bike, but I don't have the room. Hey, Aztec. Welcome to the stream and mixer. Oh, a lot of people today. Speaking of which, come here, come here, come here, people. See you, you. And you're purring already. Yes, you are a spoiled little thing, aren't you? Yeah. This is Callie. She's the baby. We got her when she was a kitten. She was so small. She fit in the palm of your hand. Literally. She was that tiny. And now she's a big old cat. Aren't you? Not as big as Foxy. Foxy's our biggest cat. She's huge. I mean, she's basically a triple with a tail. She's a Maine Coon, so she's big, fluffy, and she has a feather duster for a tail. A good girl. She's a good girl, but she's a spoiled brat. Yes. Are you a spoiled kitty? Hmm? For those joining us on the stream for the first time, the three of us that live here, <laughs> uh, the three of us that live here, we're very fluffy. We need to unfluffy. So earlier this month, uh, about about a weekend, we started the keto diet, and what we did with that, what you have to do with this is or well, it's sort of a modified keto diet you have to cut out wheat and processed sugar and also grains like corn rice things like that because they have starches that um they have starches that produce a lot of sugar in your system a lot more than most other stuff does like fruit and things and also potatoes too it's like we had to cut out a lot of stuff so you've been working on trying to make bread with almond flour but it won't leaven like regular wheat flour does because we tried everything we tried um i tried baking soda with cream of tartar uh different stuff to try and make it leaven make it rise we cook it or bake it but uh, didn't work so now there's this recipe where you can make a full loaf by doubling the recipe up and filling a pan a, a baking loaf basically and it will make uh, make a full loaf of bread and the reason why we're looking for bread is because we have uh, chicken salad Sent. We have chicken salad recipes where we make our own mayo, and mayo is easy. Mayo is incredibly easy to make. You take one raw egg, you put it into a small container, and you add one cup of light tasting virgin olive oil. Then you get a stick blender and you blend it until it's creamy. 
And you can also add um, flavorings to it. You can add like fresh um, herbs to it or you or just uh, dried herbs, whatever, and then just blend it until it's creamy. And you got yourself mayonnaise. And it'll keep in the refrigerator for a couple of days. It's easily made with just an egg and olive oil, which we have on hand here. You know, and we've got plenty of chicken. So we, I either boil it or uh, cook it in the rotisserie, cut it into pieces, add um, some seasoning, the mayo, and then we got uh, chicken salad. We can also have tuna, tuna salad. We can do it the same way. Oh yeah, it's pretty tasty. We we made some really tasty stuff because um, we have we have a hot air hot air fryer. We have a we have two hot air fryers. We have one that's a specifically a fryer, and the other one's a grill. And we have an instant pot, and we've been using the instant pot more than anything because we have chili, uh, chicken taco soup. Um, there's a hamburger soup recipe that I modified into a stew because we can't add potato that is really good we've had that we also have bacon wrapped um, meatloaf and we use uncured bacon that doesn't have any sugar in it no brown sugar we found one brand that doesn't have sugar and we can't get it at Walmart. We have to go to Albertsons to get it. And that's that's the tastiest thing we make is the meatloaf. That that's really good. I really like the the taco soup. And the chili is good. We had to modify the chili a little bit because it calls for a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and that's too hot for Tiger and Dave. So I cut that back to about a fourth of a teaspoon and it makes it tangy but it keeps the flavor because if you cut it out entirely it kills the flavor you have to have the cayenne pepper in there or else you know it just it's just bland oh and pizza we also have pizza we use um you take mozzarella cheese, I think it's 170 grams of mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, we shred our own mozzarella, then 85 grams of almond flour, mix it together, microwave it for a minute, then take it out, mix it together again, add Add cream cheese, add a tablespoon of cream cheese, uh, two tablespoons of cream cheese. Mix it, microwave it again for 30 seconds. Pull it out, add oregano and whatever herbs you want. Mix it again, roll it into a ball, divide it, and then roll it between two pieces of parchment paper into roughly round shapes and then fry it. <clears throat> fry it in either olive oil or coconut oil. And then after they're fried, add on pizza sauce, which made my own pizza sauce. And then uh, put whatever toppings you want, like mushrooms, we put on mushrooms. Uh, we found uh, pepperoni that doesn't have any bad stuff in it that we can eat. And um, we're also looking at adding stuff like uh, beef, maybe seasoning some beef, because the stuff that you put on has to be pre-cooked. So the last time I made it, which was just a couple of days ago, we had on you know mushrooms, cheese, and pepperoni, and we had our own little little personal pizzas, and they were pretty good. Oh, this thing, this is a lighter. It's kind of broke right now. The spring in it came loose. 
This was something my mom bought for my dad from Avon years ago. It's a, it's a cigarette lighter. Form of a musket pistol. My parents passed away a couple of years ago and it was one of the things that I brought back with me. Now, I think it still works, it's just that uh, the mechanism needs to be fixed, if it can be. It's the spring that just broke, it's, it's years old. Yeah, I mean, it still, it still sparks, but the, um, the mechanism is just busted inside that, that makes the hammer, um, and makes the, uh, that, that hits the, um, flint and lights the wick. It's just one of a few things I brought back with me. Whew. Yeah, it was inevitable. My dad was in bad shape. My mom, she lost a fight with cancer. And my dad had has had serious heart problems for a long time. They died real close to each other too because she went just before Thanksgiving and he went just before Christmas, right after her. You know. But uh they're their ashes are, they wanted to be cremated, so their ashes are both in the flower garden there, their place. You know, they were, they were up there in age, they were around 80, so... hot here <laughs> yes thank you very much guys I mean I I knew it was coming because they were really getting on in age my dad was able to do as much he loved going deer hunting but he hadn't been doing it for a long time and he had to drive the truck in order to go to the mailbox just up at the at the road just a short walk so it was bound to happen I mean I knew it was bound to happen so I you know I'm in Texas I grew up in Michigan my parents lived up in Michigan I'm in Texarkana Because um, originally, you know, I, I grew up in Te I grew up in Michigan. Then I m moved out to Virginia, and me and Tigra have been me and Tigra have been roommates for a long time. Oh, oh, my legs. Me and Tiger had been moved, had been roommates for a long time. And I was roommates with Dave for a while in Maryland. And then we moved out here. Dave retired and we came out here and uh, we've been here ever since. 
Uh, we were in a different in a different place. We were renting that one. We own this one. So we leave here. This place comes with us because it's a double wide. So we just pick up this place and take off. Ah, Australia. So it is nighttime where you are, I think. Or is it day? I'm not 100% familiar with all the date times. But yeah, I bet it's I bet it's hot depending on where you are. No, depending on where you are in in uh, it's nighttime. Okay, 2 a.m. Yeah, I can imagine it's hot, especially if you are in, um, what is it, New South Wales, temperatures can get pretty high. Because I knew some people from, uh, I knew some people from Australia and they were always complaining about the heat. Michigan was moderate, Detroit could get hot. Because I grew up in Detroit and it could get hot and muggy and it gets hot and muggy out here because of the Gulf. <sighs> Give me a short break. My legs are screaming. <sighs> That's why I'm going to do the thing for a week where I skip days where I do the Monday, Wednesday and Friday again. Forty-six Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. We use Fahrenheit here. Not sure what that is. I think that's high though. <laughs> oh. Forty-six. Cuz we do um, tech stuff around here too. We also um, do some from time to time we'll do some laptop repair or some of the local from the locals around here and I follow a lot of the tech channels and a lot of motherboards uh, their sensors are in Celsius so 46 that's around the temperature my graphics card goes when I'm playing some games so that's high oh legs 114. Uh, nope. <laughs> you can keep the heat. <sighs> I think it's like 40. Four, I think it's like. Um, yeah, I definitely will because I definitely need to get rid of this. And I have been getting rid of it. It's been coming off. I do feel lighter and I can actually walk through Walmart without my back killing me after just a short while. I mean, before I was going to Walmart and in like five minutes walking down the aisle, my back is killing me and I got to go sit down somewhere or I've got to get on one of the electric scooters and ride around on it. I've actually done that a couple of times, either because my back hurts or my legs hurt, my knee, mostly my knees. My knees have a problem because years ago I was in a car accident and the airbag, I, might, I, I was in, the car was so small and I was scrunched up so tight in the front seat, the airbag slammed into my knees when we were in the accident and my knees have been giving me problems ever since then. That was more than 20 years ago. So it's been an ongoing problem with my knees. My goal is to get off enough weight to be able to grab a Schwinn adult trike from Walmart and be able to ride it around here. So I got to be down 
to about 300 to do that and I know I'm over 400 because Tigra has a talking we both have vision problems so we can't see the display on the scale he's got a talking scale I get on it and it says I'm overload and it has a 400 limit thank you thank you very much but uh, it has a 400 limit and I'm over it so I'm definitely still over 400 so he's been losing weight on this diet we're on the it's sort of a, a modified keto diet ketogenic diet and I've been losing weight because I definitely feel it I'm able to walk through the store better and I'm able to stay on my feet more uh, doing stuff around the house because I was doing some stuff the other day and I was able to stay on my feet for a lot longer than I normally do because I normally have a chair in there to sit on when I'm doing stuff and I didn't have to do that as much so I'm definitely making progress and doing these exercises will help speed that up too that's why I'm doing this because you know if I'm gonna have to do this anyway why not stream at the same time you'll know, talk to people you know, this is the first time in, in a while I've actually had anybody on the show actually talking in chat you now I've got the chat window here blown up so I can actually see it because again vision issues and um, everybody who is uh, watching thanks for coming all right uh, I do a little more on the bike and then switch to my weights I'm also going to be, um, I may also add to this later on is maybe some um, stress balls or some kind of um, little exercise gizmos for my hands to get grip back into my hands, strength back into them, but uh, that's for another time, so let me... Oh, that is really sore. Right in the calves. It's like super tender. Whew. This is a workout. Workout. Okay. Whew. And thanks for the good luck. Definitely, guys. I mean, I've had more, whenever anyone has come on, I've had mostly positive people on, and I, I really appreciate it, it really helps me out, you know, a lot of this also is, you, I, I have a good, have a good sleep, and thank you very much, I will definitely, I am definitely, definitely making progress definitely making progress but uh I really let myself go because I was just suffering depression for a long time and I didn't know what it was nobody knew what it was even my ex didn't know what it was and she was didn't really offer much in the way of help and my friends out here, Tyra mostly, is the one who helped me the most when I moved out to Virginia and Maryland. And, you know, I went, I got pretty dark there for a while. I just stopped caring about everything and I let myself go. And I got better and then this past year it just came back with a force I'm not taking medicines for it I'm not going to because I've known people that took medicines for depression and it makes things worse never let them put you on the pill for depression because that stuff is bad for you now but 
I, I realized what was happening to me. It was about... Uh, I realized what was happening, or what had happened to me. It was about 2017, late into 2017, I saw a Barnacles Nerdgasm video where, I think it was 2017, where he talked about having depression and talked about what he was going through and everything. And I go, you know, that's exactly what was happening to me. That word for word, that's the same thing that was going on with me. And so that's what was happening all that time. Then 2018, it came back. You can never get rid of it. And I'm definitely not going to take the medicine for it. Thank you very much, Aztec. And thank you for joining in the chat. Thank you for watching. I'm definitely going to keep it up. But, uh, yeah, I, I realized then that was what was happening to me. That, uh... I was suffering depression. Probably not severe. I mean, there are people who've had really severe depression and... I, I don't know what degree, really. All I know is what he described was happening to me. Or what had happened to me. And it came back and... This is part of doing all this. The better diet and everything and doing this show. You know, exercising and streaming at the same time and just talking about things. You know, that helps. Way he, way uh, Barnacles, way he deals with it, he's, he does a um, morning coffee with Barnacles show on Twitter. Sorry, so Twitch. Twitter. <laughs> hey. Tiger is on. <sighs> yeah, he does a morning coffee with Barnacles show in the mornings. So, you know, we're 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 trying to stay on a regular schedule here, a regular sleep schedule, because before it was all over the place. You know, it would be sleeping during the day and awake at night. And uh, you know, we got to be on a. Try and be on a more reasonable schedule because the stores are open during the day. You know, we can do stuff, do more stuff during the day than, you know, late at night. It's sometimes a little harder to sleep late at night because that's when the trains come through. Because right over there, some distance away, there's train tracks. And multiple ones come through, and they blare the horns when they come through. <sighs> and, and they're not right next door, but you can hear them. The sound just travels out here like no nobody's business. Just you, just this low rumble in the distance, and then you hear and that goes all night. It's not so bad in my room, but Tiger gets it really bad in his. You can hear it really loud because his room is uh, facing that side. <laughs> yes, the trains are bad at night. Well, well, the one thing, one good thing is this neighborhood's not bad. This neighborhood has never had serious issues around here. I mean, it's not the hood. We've had a few, you know, problems with people with their cars, with their, uh, you know, woofers pounding down the road a few times and people making loud noise at night. But other than that, um, no serious problems. Yeah. You know, so I put on 
we'll, we'll usually put on some kind of uh, audio while we sleep. I've got some kind of um, frequency, high frequency, low mid mid frequency noise with music that I put on. I forget what they call it. It's for meditation. Uh, sometimes I also put on some binaural beats with some ocean waves. Stuff like um, deep sleep or weight loss or uh, lucid dreaming. I'll put on stuff like that. Tiger will put on something like um, he sleeps well to raindrops. To uh, sound of rain and stuff. So he'll turn something like that on. Oh yeah. Yep. Now, so a little bit of, you know, getting healthier, eating healthier, which is what we're doing. Getting exercise makes me feel better. When I feel better, you know, physically helps me feel better mentally. And I've been, I've been feeling way better now than I have in a long time. You know, everybody has their issues, everybody has their problems. You know, yeah, he's good to listen to. I should download some of his stuff. You know. Oh yeah. knee my left knee but uh yeah oh yeah tigra he's lost what 20 pounds in january since starting this we've only been on it for like what four weeks I've been doing this well today wow the today the streams have been going almost an hour but I've been doing this since um, I think last week full-on uh, Monday Wednesday and Fridays and and then doing it this week and then I'll do Monday Wednesday and Friday next week and then I'll switch to every day after that at 9 a.m. Central here oh yeah so he's, he's lost quite a bit no. He's almost down to that weight level where he could ride one of those bikes that I was talking about. That uh, Schwinn adult tricycle. Rather have one of those. I can ride a regular bike. I used to ride bikes all the time despite my vision. But um, I'd rather have the trike because it's got the basket on it. But you can carry stuff in that. So, if I wanted to, I could ride a bike all the way to Walmart. You know, if I get good enough to be able to do that. I used to ride a bike all the way to Fairlane Town Center from my home in Detroit. Which is about the same distance. <sighs> Definitely sweating up here <sighs> okay ow oh. oh all right my legs are my calves are definitely screaming right now <sighs> so after I do the bike I do the weights 
for my arms and um, come Monday that's I'll do again I'll do this uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday again next week and then go every day in the morning at um, 9 a.m. after that so I should be able to handle doing that by then <sighs> oh all right So I got my weights. You're probably hearing my chair crinkle all over the place. This old rickety broke down chair that I've had for years needs replacing. And I don't have the money to replace it. Also, what I might do is go a little longer as well on those sessions next week. I uh, really try to push it up to where I do a uh, bike for an hour and maybe these weights for like half an hour, ease into it, not force myself. You know, before I was doing like half an hour or so. Gradually over time, add maybe some more weight to these weights. I hadn't let myself go I wouldn't need to do all this but I did and you know, I can't change what happened in the past you know I can learn from it you know learn from it and not make the same mistakes take care better care of myself which I'm doing now Which is why, you know, it's it's so important that if you have problems like depression and things like that, talk to people. Don't hold it in. Don't keep it in. I mean, I kept it in for a long time, and it's not healthy for you. You 
know, it helps to talk to somebody. It helps to talk to somebody who's sympathetic. You know. And there are places where you can get help. But again, don't let them put you on the pills. Don't let them put you on the medicine. And every time you see the ads for those things, it's like, thoughts of suicide. Or one of the side effects. It's like, excuse me, this is supposed to help cure depression? Why does it give you thoughts of suicide? I thought that was supposed to keep... Antidepressants were supposed to keep you from wanting to off yourself. Like, what the hey? Sometimes, sometimes it's, it seems like they're just wanting to give you pills just to give you pills. You know. Just to feed that, uh, just to feed that machine. Instead of curing you, they just want to treat the symptoms. Well... They can keep their pills. That's a lot harder than you think. Oh. Oh. And these are only like one and a half pounds each. So it's like three pounds total in each bar. Not a good idea. Oh. oh, that's not a good idea. Right now. <laughs> Ooh. When you're not in shape, this is hard. <laughs> it will get better. Um, yeah, the diet is really good. Um, Oh god, just trying to find stuff that doesn't have sugar in it has been a chore. I mean, uh, there's one brand of beef and chicken stock that does not have sugar in it. There's, there's stuff with sugar in it that you wouldn't think had sugar. Or um, the other stuff that's really, really bad for you is high fructose corn syrup. And I used to drink sodas like crazy and it had nothing but high fructose corn syrup in it and I don't drink those anymore I haven't had a soda since since the first week of January and you know sugar is addictive sugar is addictive it's hard to get off of it you know you you really want it you know, yeah, um, yeah, I need to, 
I need to slowly adjust, you know, get used to exercising again, because it's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. I mean, my, my legs are still sore from Wednesday, and exercising, and I'm just, my arms are just ready to fall off now, just doing, doing what you just saw with the weights, my arms were ready to fall off. But, uh, you know, it's something I'm taking one step at a time. That's why I'm going to go, you know, staggered, um, staggered days for another week and then go every day after that. You know, and from there, still gradually work my, work my way up. I want to find a more permanent solution to keep my chair from sliding back away from this bike. To keep me at a proper distance where I can actually use it, but not um, so that I don't slide back. I got it to where I doesn't where it doesn't slide away from me. The bike doesn't slide away from me. It's braced up against a, a crate that I have here against the wall. But I need the chair to stop sliding back. I don't. I can't find the Velcro strip that came with this. There's a like a Velcro um, strap that came with this that you can keep your chair from sliding away from the exercise bike lost it somewhere don't have it anymore um not sure what happened to that thing and also the fact that this chair is busted and I need a new one and I can't afford a new one and any you know chairs that can hold like 500 pounds or whatever um no the hook is not really working the little hook that I use this thing not really working I ordered this so I was expecting it to be longer but uh, this thing is not really working out. So, and I tried to find something like that at Walmart in the automotive section, and they didn't have it. They didn't even have bungee cords. They didn't have these cargo. They the this is a tarp strap. Um, what I was thinking more of was like a cargo strap that are like these, but longer or a bungee cord of some kind. They didn't have them. Had everything else but those. So, I don't know. I'll think of something. I mean, I've got some wire over here in place of the side. I can break off the um, JB Weld. Maybe find some more bolts to put the uh, the side back on. The, because I've still got the side arm over here. No. Fix the chair and make it usable for a while longer. Till I finally can't fix it anymore. No. It's almost 300 bucks for brand new chairs. Especially for the kind that I want to be able to, be able to have. For uh, the 500 pound office chair. Almost 300 bucks for those things. No. I mean, there are some cheaper chairs out there, but they won't last long. You know, they have like a 300 and something pound weight limit. I'm over, I'm over 400. I'm not over five. I'm, I don't think I'm over five. But I'm definitely over 400 because of the, the talking scale Tiger has. That um, tells me I'm overload. So I'm definitely over 400, not over five. And having a 500 pound weight limit chair means that it will be more durable and it will last longer because I'm I'll be losing weight and it'll be a more heavy-duty chair so five years down the line I shouldn't have to replace it like I have to replace this one because I've had this one for a long time uh, I think I've had this thing since we since before we moved out here 
I think I've had this since Maryland a couple of years before so this thing is old falling apart I've patched it up in a few places now definitely needs replacing Anyway, oh, I think I am. <sighs> anyway, I think I'm at my limit for today. <sighs> my legs are sore. My arms are sore. So I'll be back on Monday doing this again around the same time. So if you guys want to pop in chat whatever definitely do so the exercise bike I'm using again is listed in the description below uh, that's not an affiliate link um, not have the subscribers yet for joining the affiliate program but it's the bike I'm using so if you want to uh, if you need to exercise and you want something that you can use under your desk I can't put it under my desk because I've got these bars in the way down there but if you like work in an office or something and you're in a cubicle you want to be able to exercise while you're working on your bike you know get one of these they're not that expensive uh, they're cheaper than the kind that you sit on you know so it's it's this thing is really heavy and it's I'm definitely getting use out of it now. I hadn't used it in a long time. I'm definitely getting some use out of it now. So, it's great. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Um, tonight, uh, this, um, this afternoon, Tiger and I will be doing the Zort Central show. Uh, we'll be starting around, somewhere around 4, somewhere around 4 p.m. Central. We'll be starting there, and this will be a weekly show. And uh, also, remember, I uh, do videos, gaming videos, for this channel, and also uh, Gamers Bay. And the Gamers Bay has a community, and we're we were we are currently in Google Plus, but we're we're moving to MeWe because Google Plus is shutting down in April, shutting down April second. That's the official announcement now is April 2nd Google Plus is going away so we are in the process of moving our community over to MeWe we are we're already established there and now we're gonna be ramping up um, promotion of that community to you know bring people there we've had we had close to 20,000 members on Google Plus and so we want to bring that number back up over in the new community so check out uh, Gamers Bay over on MeWe and I'm also there as well and uh, I will be uh, I'll set up a room in Discord a voice uh, voice room in Discord for the show so if you want to join Discord uh, link to my uh, Discord server it will be in the description as well and uh, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for all the encouragement guys it helps a lot believe me it does and you now if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need help with depression get the help don't let them put you on the pills but at least talk to people talk to people who will take you seriously be sympathetic for your problems you know who will listen to you who will be encouraging because it really does help you if you have that problem I had that problem and I got you know I I didn't find out that what I was going through was depression until you know sometime later but I really got help from my friends here from Tigra in some ways Dave also 
and you know it really helped me so again thanks for watching remember to check out our communities on MeWe and I'll see you guys next time